Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Mason and let's hear some stories from Reddit. But before that, don't forget to press the like and subscribe so you won't miss any videos in the future. Or maybe leave a comment down below. That really helps the future of the channel and means so much to the effort that I put in every day. Now let's dive into the stories. First story, my mom just upgraded her wedding ring because my engagement ring was too nice. Title says it all. My now fiancé said that my mom told her husband that she wanted to upgrade hers the moment she saw the ring my fiancé picked for me when he asked for their blessing. Time for an upgrade, is exactly what she said. It's been a few weeks and they went to get a quote on her ring, which at first I was fine with and kind of teased her because I thought it was silly she was jealous. To trade it in, I told her as long as it didn't look like mine, and they both confirmed it wouldn't be as she liked a different cut. Well she came out with a massive similar shaped stone with a huge, Thick band made of smaller diamonds, but still larger than average. Mind you, they sent all us a photo of it, and it's nuts how much they spent on it. When I asked her why she really needed such a large piece she told me I didn't deserve to have a larger ring than hers because I'm not even married yet, so they agreed to get her a bigger one because she earned it. First of all, I think this is insane to equate your self-worth to a ring. But what? And secondly, they said they had been having money problems and the amount they spent seems irresponsible. I just wanted to vent a little and see if anyone has had something similar happen. I took out some specific details that might identify me if this gets too big. Also thanks for the awards. I am going to let this roll off my back now and just enjoy the engaged life and wedding planning with, hopefully, as little drama as possible. Second story, close your airplane window. You're blinding my angel. This story happened yesterday. And it wasn't exactly my first Karen encounter. I've had a few past encounters, but this one definitely takes the cake for my funniest one. I work at an airline and need to regularly take business trips from Houston to Chicago. I usually go on these flights once a week at least. Here's what happened. I had just boarded my flight and plugged my earbuds in as I listened to my favorite podcast. Keep in mind it's about 11 a.m. CST. I was minding my own business when a middle-aged blonde woman approached me. The entitled mother of this story. Looking unhappy. Me, hello ma'am, can I help you? EM, yes, please close your window. Me, confused, why? EM, your window is way too bright and it is disturbing my angel who is napping. Almost everyone else has their window open, and her angel is playing games on his Nintendo Switch. Me, ma'am, your child is clearly wide awake. I plug my earbuds back in. She didn't like this one bit. EM, excuse me. She yanks my earbuds out of my ears. Close your window or I'll call the flight attendants. Insert the flight attendant, who I'll be calling nice employee for now. N.E. Is there a problem? E.M. Yes. This man is disturbing my sleeping son by having his window open. N.E. Glances at the kid, who is still playing games. Ma'am, your kid is awake and playing games. Please go back to your seat, or I will have you escorted off when we land. E.M. Clearly angry, but complies. She kept shooting dirty looks at me the entire flight, but luckily I got off not too long after and was glad I never saw her again. Third story, crazy lady tries stealing Erkin out the back of my car. Hey all, got another one for ya. I don't know why but people seem comfortable stealing shit off the back of my ute. Pickup truck. I have caught a total of three people trying to take my shit in the past. Today makes four. The thing is most of the time it's shit that wouldn't interest most folks. I usually use this car to pick up ingredients from my factory or deliver stock to my customers, the ones nearby anyways. So it's always weird. Once caught a lady trying to steal a 25 kilograms bag of sugar, which she can't even lift. Anyways, today's cast of characters is me, me, entitled cunt, EC, and quiet kid, QK basically just stood in stunned silence the whole time. Today I was using it to move air conditioners. Long story short my folks are renovating their place. They're also getting a new ducted heating system installed. Prior to that they had to small air conditioners. The type that heat and cool. But are only really useful for one room. Since they didn't need them dad asked me to pick them up. He wanted me to take one to his factory so he could have it installed in his office. And said I could keep the second one. I decided to take it to my own factory. And have it installed in my office as well. So I picked up the air cons the other day. Took him both to my factory for storage, and this morning decided to drive down to dad's to drop his aircon off to him. Had some pickups to make in his area anyways so thought it would work out well. Anyways it already loaded his aircon, 
the outdoor motor and the indoor head unit or whatever they're actually called, onto a pallet and used a forklift to hoist them up into my ute. A lot easier than just loading by hand. I used some ratchet straps to hold the pallet in place. Didn't want the airkin to move about while I was driving. Or to fall off for that matter. On the way I stopped off at a local shopping center to get a sandwich. There's a small bakery there that make the best banh mi. Vietnamese sandwich rolls. And I was in the mood. It'd been gone maybe 10 minutes. Figured no one would try messing with the car in that short a time I was mistaken. As I get to my car I see a lady and her kid, a boy around 10 or so, trying to figure out how to undo my straps. They had already untied the extra part of the strap, but they couldn't figure out how to loosen the ratchet bit. I walked up and said may I help you? ECE yes please. My husband left this in the back and asked me to move it to my car. I'm just having trouble untying these straps. Me oh this is your husband's car. ECE yes. Ace just in the shop. He can't help me move this because A's got a bad back. So I'm just trying to put it in my car. Me, how about a kiss then love? EC, what? You're disgusting. I told you, I'm married. Me, well ya also said this was your husband's car. Pulling out my keys and unlocking the door. It happens to be my car. So I guess that makes me your husband. If I'm not then that means you're a lying cunt trying to steal from me. So which is it? Are you my wife or a thieving cunt? EC and either. How dare you speak to me like that? Let alone use that word in front of my son. Police police rape police, etc. Unfortunately no police showed up. Would love to see her reaction when they went to view the store's security cameras. Me knock it off lady. There are cameras all over this place and they will all show you trying to steal this air conditioner from my ute. You can scream rape all ya like. But we both know you're a thief and I've got all the evidence I need. EC just give me the air conditioner. My kids are freezing, give it to me or else I'm calling the police. Me tramp, I got this air can free. And had you actually waited around and asked me politely, without threats, I may have actually been convinced to give it to you. But nope, you decided to steal, then you decided to lie and finally you decided to threaten me. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna take my air conditioner with me. If y'all'd like to call the police and give him my license plate number go ahead. If and when they contact me I'll tell them to take a look at the camera footage which proves you're a thief. I'll also tell them I'd like to press chargers. Ball is in your court. I got in my car. She stood in front to try to block me from leaving. When I honked at her she kicked my car and pretended it hit her. Me you know I've also got a dash cam right. It has caught you kicking my car. Would you like more evidence against you? She gave me the finger. I responded with a one-fingered salute of my own and drove off. Fourth story, Karen's baby boy wants my camper. I just bought a camper trailer not too long ago. It was pretty old so I repainted it and fixed it up. It doesn't look new but pretty darn good, and I plan to take it camping soon. I had it hitched up to my SUV because I was taking it to a friend's house a ways away and thought it'd be the perfect time to test spending the night in it away from home. I stopped at a station to gas up and buy some snacks in the little store connected to it. When I came out there was a woman and her young son trying to look in the windows of my trailer. I asked them what they were doing, and the lady gave me a sour look before saying my baby likes your trailer, so I said he could check it out. But the door was locked. Me damn right the door was locked. You don't just try to enter someone else's trailer. That's basically the same as trying to just walk into their house. Karen crossed her arms and said how rude. My baby just wanted to look around. Just open the door and let us in. Me yeah, no, go away and don't bother me again. At this point her crotch goblin starts crying and pulling on her shirt. Mommy, I want it. Mind you this kid looked like he was 7 or 8 years old. I just started laughing because this situation sounded so much like other Reddit stories that I listen to online almost daily. Karen started stamping her feet and yelled what's so funny. Let us in the camper right now. I wiped a tear from my eye and said because this is the most stereotypical situation I've ever seen in person of a Karen trying to act entitled to someone else's property just because their brat wants it. She seemed to recognize what it meant when I called her Karen. Because her eye twitched and she scrunched up her face to the point it looked like she smelled something unbelievably foul. Then she grabbed her still crying kid and drug him away by his arm. All the while I'm still laughing. She then got into a crappy looking old Honda and gave me the finger. I just waved with a crap eating grin as she drove away. Fifth story, how dare you draw better than my son. So I posted a story on am I the a hole if you want more informations about this. But short story me and a classmate just tried out for art school, and my aunt decided to buy me to pretty expensive books for art to help me, 
EK wasn't happy and started throwing a tantrum saying that I gotta buy him the same books because he doesn't have the money to buy them. Anyway, so we both got in art school. I got in with a 9.75 and he got in with 9.5. The maximum you can get is 10. UFC he wasn't happy and started to accuse me of cheating and saying his art was clearly way better than mine and he should have got the better score. So I said, me shouldn't you be happy you got in. I mean 9.5 is third place and is really good. EK no, it's not fair you got second place my art was clearly better and I've been drawing for more time than you. It's just because you got those stupid books. I got the books after we tried out for the school. Me am happy I at least got in. You should be too, we're gonna be classmates for another for years so I don't think you should be so mad at me all the time. EK shut up, I'm gonna report you for cheating. Me okay ick. Then I went home to tell my parents. They were pretty happy. My aunt though DMDN that woman was more excited than me she came over just to congratulate me. Then the monster appeared. If you guessed entitled mom and her brat you get a pat on the head. My aunt goes to open the door, and it started. Nah nice aunt, hello. May I help you? EM, where is she? Where is your brat? Nah you mean my nephew. He is here but what I would appreciate if you stopped screaming before you talked to him. EM, yeah yeah your nephew. M trans, DM, they don't accept it. I want her to apologize to my son for cheating. Nah what? What did he cheat on? EM, she cheated when they tried out for the art school. My son's drawings were way better how did she got a better grade? Now nah, a working more. EM just walks past my aunt and comes at me screaming, you are a spoiled brat. How dare you cheat? Some better kids could have took your place. Me done with her bees, okay idiot I didn't fucking cheat okay. The people who graded the drawings didn't even see my name. Until they were done with the grade. EM, how dare you talk to me like that you brat. You know what? Since you got in with such a high grade guess you don't need those books anymore. Hand them over. Nah no, I got him the books as a present. I'm not letting your spoiled kid have them. Get out of the house now I'm done with you and your brat. If I see you around my nephew again I'm gonna knock your thief out. EM, be sure I will report you all to the school principal. You stupid cheaters, come 1EK. Then she took her brat and leave the house. I was shaking with anger. I worked so so hard for my portfolio and now I'm not even allowed to be happy that I got it. I wish I had a better ending but that's all I can give you for now. And I hope I won't need to update this story anymore. And tweet if you ask what my parents were doing while this was happening. My mom just went in another room saying she doesn't want to be involved. Then came back to yell at my aunt for being rude. And calling her daughter a boy. That what worried her the most. So I can say my mom wasn't the best in this story either. Last story, EM gets mad at me for being fair M. I work as a ride operator at Six Flags. I was operating a ride that has for cars. Three seats per car and to people fit in one seat. We were loading a train and I had closed the gates, when one lady calls out to me from inside the chute. Me me em, entitled mom and l, nice lady. Em, hey, can you open the gate? Me why? I need to know why before reopening gates. Em to her children already in their seats. Get off, we're waiting for the next one. So I opened the gates to let them off. Then I checked restraints and was going to the panel when she calls out again. EM, hey, open the gates so these people can go through. Me, I'm sorry but I already checked restraints, and therefore I am unable to let anyone else on. Then this one guy was going back to his seat after putting his backpack in the loose article bin. Of course I let him on since it was his seat anyway. EM looked visibly upset. I send the train off, unloaded the next train and started loading it when NL comes up to me. NL, hey, I went to go put my stuff in the bin, but EM took my seat. What's going on? Turns out she switched rows, when the gates opened to sit with her kids when NL went to put her stuff away. Me to EM, hey this is her seat, you were in the other row anyway so this seat technically belongs to her. EM, but I wanna sit with my kids. Me, yes I understand, but you were in the other row and this lady was putting her stuff away. EM, we waited three trains to get on together, but you kicked them off on the last train, lie. And why did you let the other guy on after checking restraints, when you said you couldn't? Me because he was putting his stuff away so the seat was his anyway. Can you please give your seat back to NL? EM starts getting up. Nah, I wanna speak to your manager. Give me his number. Smong kids, we have to wait for the next one. She goes back in the shoot with her kids. I apologize to NL. Finished checking restraints. And sent the train. She didn't say anything more to me afterwards. Guys, stay in your row. And be nice to the ride operators. That's it for the video. Thanks for watching.